He, being Jesus, was full of, say this with me, unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have, say this with me, seen his glory. The glory of the Father's one and only Son. Now, if you've been a part of Core Church for any amount of time, you're going to know these three things that I talk about. But I'm going to come back to them because I think they're so easy and they're so practical and it's something that God's calling us to do right now. Here's the first one I want you to write down is the word intercede. Intercede. Pray for your neighbor. Intercede. Pray for your neighbor. Because here's what happens. When you start praying for your neighbors, God fills you full of unfailing love for your neighbors. Like, like right now, we, as we said earlier, uh, when we started this morning, we're praying for hundreds of people. You've turned in hundreds of names of neighbors and coworkers and friends and, and, and family members that don't know Jesus. And if you've not had a chance to do that yet, I want to encourage you to go to corechurch.com or excuse me, go to Core Christmas, corechristmas.com, scroll to the bottom, send in the names. We're praying every day over every name that came in all during this Christmas season. We want to join with you. We want to pray with you. So I want you to think for just a moment, about that person you were envisioning earlier, that coworker, that neighbor, that person on the ball team or the campus, did you get the picture of that person? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to share with somebody wherever you're gathered. I want you to turn to somebody wherever you're gathered. I want you to share about that person, okay? I'll give you just a moment, just do that right now. Now, I realize when we did that, for some of you, it might have been a little bit awkward because you're like, I don't really know anyone that doesn't know Jesus. But that's why I want to encourage you to start with prayer. Because here's what prayer says to God. I'm available, now make me aware. I'm available, now make me aware. So intercede, pray for your neighbor. Here's the second thing I want you to write down, invest. Invest, do good to your neighbor. Invest, do good to your neighbor. Like Jesus, be faithful. Like just be there when your neighbor needs you. Just do Good. That might be just simply saying hi to your neighbor or your coworker or the person uh, on your camp. Just acknowledging the cashier, just acknowledging it. Buying toilet paper for people. I mean, you want to you want to do good right now? Give somebody a roll of toilet paper in the name of Jesus. It will be powerful. I mean, that's one thing we all need. It's just so practical and doing good. When you begin to pray, you begin to do things intentionally in the name of Jesus. You don't even have to mention the name of Jesus. Like yesterday, I was out working in the yard and. My neighbor was putting up a fence and had a couple guys coming to help put up the fence. And they were, they were trying to dig out uh, the ground. And good old Oklahoma clay, snap, heard the, heard the shovel go snap. And I look over, the guy's got a little part of the handle of the, of the shovel. And he's just basically trying to dig out. It was just the small little part of the shovel. And I said, hey, man, do you need a shovel? And he's like, yeah. So I went to my shed. I grabbed a couple sho- uh, shovels and grabbed a pickaxe and handed it to him. Now, when I say that, you're like, Brad, how is that sharing Christ? Seriously? How is it? When you are intentional, here's the thing. You never know what that person is going through, and you never know the conversations that they're having with God and how he's using that in their life. So invest. Do good to your neighbor. The third one is this. Inform. Inform. Talk uh, uh, talk about Jesus with your neighbor. Inform. Talk about Jesus with your neighbor. John said this, we have seen his glory. Listen, we need to get to a place where we start showing people who Jesus is. Like when the Holy Spirit prompts you, when you feel that prompting on you to share Christ, you need to share Jesus. Now that might mean praying with somebody. You're like, this is gonna be awkward. Yeah, I always say this, be awkward, don't be weird. It's always awkward, but it's like, can I pray for you? Just, just be obedient to that. Maybe, maybe it's sharing a scripture. There's a scripture that meant a lot to you, and you can hand that scripture to someone else. Or, uh, or, or maybe, it's, maybe it's sharing your story. Maybe it's what God did for you that you can share with someone else. 